Well, today we're going out on another walk. We're going to head towards one of the deer stands, uh, which will be the first one that I set up to take photos from. I'm going to sit in it for a while to do that. But this is kind of a another test of new equipment setup. I've got my really heavy ice spikes on. I'll show you that. Those are monstrous. And I'm trying to come up with a better way of carrying other equipment with me. So I've got my uh, 200 telephoto lens where I can reach it quickly and the binoculars. So I've got my backpack on that's got the uh, monster lens in it and my tripod and a couple of other things, batteries and whatnot, in case I need them. And then I have a front case, a waist case on, that's got my uh, smaller telephoto lens and my small binoculars in them. So this is basically going out for a walk just to see how it goes. Well, here comes the deer stand. So we'll stop and have a look here. Well, this is definitely a much tougher hike with this snow. All right, let's have a look. Good height. So I think I'll bring my uh, my car blanket. That'll give me something warm to sit on. So tomorrow is supposed to be a sunny day. So we may target trying this tomorrow. It would be nice in the sun. It's a funny combination of footing out here. I'm kind of torn between the snowshoes and the uh, big ice spikes. The snowshoes are, of course, good for deep snow, but this is all packed down quite thoroughly just by the few snowmobilers that have gone through. Uh, but if you get off the track a little bit, you suddenly sink and it can throw you off balance, which wouldn't happen with the snowshoes. Just the snowshoes are big, cumbersome, and awkward. So I keep opting for uh, cleats. And now with these giant ice cleats that do seem to work very well, uh, it's a little easier as long as I stay on these tracks. Okay, let's head towards the uh, sawmill. So way over there is a van that I'm going to go over and have a look at. Not today, maybe tomorrow, because that's another possible spot to hide out looking for deer. We'll go over there tomorrow and see if there's any deer tracks around it. There's a pretty sky. Well, we're almost back. The snow is starting to come down pretty good. So this was, as I say, just an experimental walk. I do love it out here. Very few deer tracks today. Easy to see in the fresh snow. So, 
We'll see what tomorrow brings. Plus I got my package that's got my new uh, pieces in it for macro photography. That'll be fun to play with. So, let's head inside and get out of this. Well, it is a beautiful day today. Look at that. But it is cool. There's a bit of a breeze blowing. And Sarah tells me the wind chill factor is minus 21. So it'll be a cool walk today. So a little bit different today. We're going to head down along the road straight towards Art's place and then cut in back there over to where I saw another deer stand with a lot of tracks around it. What we saw yesterday at the uh, first deer stand we looked at, there weren't really very many tracks around it. So I want to go and check out this other one uh, and see what it looks like, see what kind of tracks are around. The snow is fresh, so it'll be easy to tell. <clears throat> and so we're coming up to the spot where we're going to uh, turn into the field here. I just saw Art out on his tractor delivering a load of wood, or on his way to deliver a load of wood. Oh, and by the way, yes, I do have my new uh, pieces for macro photography. <laughs> Whole new field that's going to be uh, quite fun to play with. So this is my first test picture. Have a look at that. So what that is, is a small blemish or bump on the side of an avocado. <laughs> the peak of it there that's in focus is only maybe a 32nd of an inch across. So true macro photography is a, a ratio of one to one or greater and that one is greater. So it's, it's going to be fun to play with. All right, we'll keep our eyes open and hope for deer. What a lovely vista. Well, it has definitely been some work to get back in here. The snow is pretty deep. Well, there it is. There's a bit of a climb to get up here. And there's that deer blind. So let's have a look and see what kind of view there is from here. Looks like a pretty nice one. Quite the view over the valley. Hmm. Nice spot. I've got to change a battery anyway, so uh, we'll have a look up inside here and see what it's like. Open up the hatch. So quite a view from this blind or deer stand. Yeah, it's really nicely situated. Oh, there goes my water bottle. So I think what I'm going to do is get my blanket out close the door here back behind me and we're going to sit and relax for a little bit. Cool off. Very nice.
Well, I am cold. And the temperature is going down, but at least I'm back out in the sun again. And that's starting to feel a little better. We'll make our way back out to the road and wait for the next uh, good day to come out again. So no sign of anything uh, coming through. No additional deer tracks since I came out. But it is a, it is a really good spot. I can see why the uh, deer stand is there. I'm sure they've been successful from that spot. Well, one thing I'm learning is my uh, GoPro batteries don't last very long when it's cold like this. I've uh, gone through battery in both cameras now, so I've got no more spares left. But that's okay, we're on our way home. So it's been an adventure, <laughs> been a learning experience. And we'll uh, make some changes to the equipment again. And the next time the weather permits and time, we'll uh, do this again, come out to the same spot. Because that does, that does look like a good spot. We just need to be patient, but we need to be warm enough to be patient. So, I think it's time to go for that hot chocolate again. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's video. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, little adventure out here again. So, we'll see you out on the trails the next time.